Okay, the rate constant for this reaction is 1.74 times 10 to the 4. Based on the following data in this table right here, calculate the initial rate of this reaction when the concentration of Br2 is 7.4 times 10 to the negative 3 molar and the concentration of NO is 1.8 times 10 to the negative 3 molar. So whenever you're solving a problem like this, the first thing you want to do is write out your rate law. And that was what I did up here. So the rate law says the rate of the overall reaction is equal to the rate constant K times the concentration of your reactants. And in this case, our reactants are NO and Br2. And they're each going to be raised to their order. And I wrote that as X and Y here because we didn't know them yet. So in this next row, I started plugging in the information that we do know. So they told us K was 1.74 times 10 to the 4. That's the rate constant. So I went ahead and plugged that in. And they also gave us the initial concentrations uh, for our given reaction. Br2's concentration was 7.4 times 10 to the negative 3 molar. And NO's concentration was 1.8 times 10 to the negative 3 molar. And these numbers here, circled in red, are what I had to figure out using this table. So I want to walk you through how I got those numbers. And of course we're solving here for the rate, so that's why I circled that. So again, these numbers here, X and Y, are the order of the reaction with respect to NO and Br2 respectively. So in order to find those numbers, we need to use this data table. So to find the order of the reaction with respect to NO, what I want to do is find two trials where the concentration of NO changes but the concentration of Br2 stays the same. So if you notice here, trial one and trial two are perfect for this. The concentration of NO changed, but the concentration of Br2 was held constant. That way, I can just look at the effects of changing NO's concentration on the effect of the overall rate of the reaction. So by the way, this column is the initial concentration of NO, this column is the initial concentration of Br2, and this column is the overall rate of the reaction. And another way to write that is dNOBR over dt, which stands for the rate of production of NOBR, which is just an indirect way of measuring the rate of this reaction. So each horizontal row here is a trial. This says that when the initial concentration of NO was 4.2 times 10 to the negative 3, the initial concentration of Br2 was 1.22 times 10 to the negative 3. This was the overall rate of the reaction that those initial concentrations produced. So again, trial 1 and trial 2. You can see that from trial 2 to trial 1, we actually doubled the initial concentration of NO, while we left the initial concentration of Br2 constant. And look at what happened to the overall rate of the reaction. It went from this to this. So we can see here that when we doubled the initial concentration of NO, we actually quadruple the overall rate of the reaction. And from that, we can conclude that this overall reaction here is second order in NO. In other words, this exponent here on top of NO's concentration is going to be a 2. Because when we double this, it's squared and it makes the rate go up by 4 times. Okay, let's do the same exact thing for Br2. So again, we want two trials where the concentration of Br2 changes, but the concentration of NO stays the same. That way we can look at only Br2's effect on the overall rate of the reaction. So if you look closely here, trial two and trial three, the concentration of NO actually stays the same. That's good, right? And then the concentration of Br2 changes. So trial two and trial three are perfect. They're gonna allow us to see only BR2's effect on the overall rate of the reaction. So if you do the math down here, I put 2.44 over 1.22. That tells us that from trial 2 to trial 3, the concentration of BR2 doubled. It went up by a factor of 2. And in that same trial 2 to trial 3 change, the rate of the reaction went from 3.39 to 6.78 times 10 to the negative 4. And if you set up that fraction, being sure to match up 2.44 with 6.78 and 1.22 with 3.39, you can see that it corresponded to, again, a doubling or an increase by a factor of two in the overall rate of the reaction. And since these numbers are the same, we know that it is first order in Br2. In other words, this overall reaction is first order 
in BR2, and therefore this exponent here is a 1. So now we have everything we need to calculate the rate. This is simply a calculator problem. Type all this into your calculator, and you will find that the overall rate of this reaction with these given conditions is 4.17 times 10 to the negative 4 molarity per second. By the way, some other good things to note are that this reaction is third order overall because it is second and first order in two reactants, so 2 plus 1 is 3. Also, if you were to find units of K, you would do this. So the rate is equal to K times molarity cubed, right? 2 plus 1 is 3, so overall we're going to have molarity cubed. And we know our rate is equal to molarity per second, so if we want to find what the units of K would have to be to cancel out this molarity cubed and turn it into molarity per second, you find that it has to be this. Molarity cubed times 1 over molarity squared times seconds. This molarity squared cancels out, the 3 turns into a 1, and you're left with molarity over seconds, just like it's molarity over seconds here. So therefore, the units of K in this problem or in any third order overall reaction have to look like this. So I really hope this video helped you guys out. If it did, please hit that thumbs up button. Thanks a lot.